Watching a Husker game from a skybox and perks along with it convinced A.J. Brink to pay $2,000 for a Nebraska game day experience package he never fully received. And he says there's an extra point to the purchase that shouldn't be missed. Did you buy those tickets thinking some of your money would go to charity? We absolutely bought those tickets thinking that at least some of the money would go to those charities. Game day packages offered by Influence implied proceeds would benefit several charities, and Johnny Rogers Youth Foundation is one of those listed. Somebody's definitely using whatever they're using without permission. Uh, I have no knowledge about who they are or what they could be doing. Uh, I've received uh, nothing from them. I don't haven't corresponded with anyone. Um, it's the first I've heard about it is when you told me about it. The Ronald McDonald House says the same thing. No permission to use its logo, no proceeds received. It says proceeds benefit, but none of your charities have benefited. No. Rogers, who famously wore 20 on his jersey, says federal officials could penalize any promoter that misuses his other number. Well, you have to give people permission to use your 501c3s, and you have to give them the number as well. Without a 501c3, then you don't really have the right to really accept money, so people can get a write-off. The game day package is sold by a private promotional group called Influence, which posted a sign hours before kickoff that sweet seats weren't available and refunds would be made. We've had three or four different dates of when we were supposed to be getting that refund, uh, and none of us have received a refund. AJ is among 22 game day package buyers owed a total of more than $30,000. They hired a lawyer to send the Influence team a demand for immediate reimbursement. I'm hoping that someone will hold these people accountable. Um, I'm hoping that this will be exposed, and, and I'm hoping that we'll, we'll all get our money back. An Alaskan for Nebraska is on the refund demand list after traveling from his resort for a game day experience package that wasn't so scenic after all. You no, know, we're already five, $6,000 in flights and hotels and stuff just to get down there and to find out we didn't have tickets. And then uh, really I'd like to know where did that money go to? If it didn't go to charity, um, where did it go? That's a question an estimated 50 or more fans are asking after buying Nebraska game day experience packages for $1,000 on up, only to be stopped short of their goal to watch a Husker game from a suite. On your side, Mike McKnight, 6 News. They promised you refunds several times. It, at the event, in emails, correct. And? Nothing. Adam Basie says he's one of the victims, out $1,000. He purchased what was called a Influence Game Day Experience last year, meaning tickets to a Husker game, luxury suite, with the opportunity to mingle with former players all around. On top of that, the business group said it would also donate proceeds to several charities. That does piss me off a little bit because uh, they lost, not only we lose money, all those charities they promoted lost money. They used them without their rights, from what I understand. That's mine there. Um, I don't know who that is. Nebraska football legend and Heisman Trophy winner Johnny Rogers is a victim too. I'll, I'll be very skeptical. He says the business group called Influence used his nonprofit logo without permission, trying to get money off his name. Same for the Ronald McDonald House, no permission and no proceeds received. The Attorney General alleges Influence abused the public's trust and used deceptive trade practices. I'm not expecting anything. I'm, I'm well past expecting something to get done because it's promises years ago now. Uh, uh, I hope it does move forward. Uh, the Attorney General will ho hopefully hold those accountable. Adam Basie, who filed a complaint with the Nebraska AG, doesn't think he'll get a dime back. I wonder if there's actually any money left. I would, I'd be surprised if there was any money left. I would be more happy if they held, held them accountable via uh, prison time. On your side in Omaha, Brian Mastry, 6 News.